So this video is a recording of how to graph population data when we're talking about city growth. So you have the option of using this website, this infoplease.com. And if you use this, this goes back to the year 1900. So you can see in 1900, here's a population of New York, Chicago, Philadelphia, St. Louis, etc. Uh, it goes by 20 year intervals, so you can go up to 1920, 1940, 1960, 80, and up to 2005. And you can see the population of each of these major cities during those time periods. The other option is using this bu.edu website, which stands for Boston University. And with this website, you can check any date. And say, for example, I click on 1850. Here are the populations of these major cities during the year 1850. Or if I want to go to one specific one, let's say I go to Chicago, here's the population from 1840 to 1990, the population as it increases every decade. Either of these websites are useful for graphing information. I personally prefer this website, physics.bu.edu, because I think it gives you a little bit more information and it goes further back so you can really track the growth of cities over time. So, I am going to start by getting a paper, and I am going to set up my graph. So I have a X and a Y axis. And I am also going to make sure that I include a key. So in one of your corners, include a key. This I'll label key. And I'm going to graph the population of Let's say Chicago, um, I'll do Philadelphia, and I will do Los Angeles, and I'll do Detroit, and another one, let's say I'll do St. Louis. And I'm going to use this, and you can either color code it or you can use different uh, shapes of lines. So for example, if I'm graphing the population of Chicago, maybe that's just going to be a straight line. Uh, if I'm using Philadelphia, maybe that's going to be dotted lines and that line will look like this. Los Angeles, maybe it will be a line, dash, line, small dash, so on. Detroit, maybe I'll use squiggly lines to graph Detroit. And St. Louis, maybe I'll do dash, dash, circle, dash, dash, circle, dash, dash, and so on. And then this will serve as my key so that when I'm graphing my lines, you can tell the difference between all of the cities. So, I will start with Chicago. Across the bottom, I'm going to start with dates. So if I look at my data, my dates for Chicago go back to the year about 1840. It goes back to about 1850 for most of these. So I'm going to start my date at 1850, and I'm going to go to about 1970. And uh, that's a total of 12 decades if I do the math. So I'll separate it. Let's see. Here goes one, two, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So those are about evenly spaced. Then I'll go 1860, 1870, 1880, 1890, 1900, 10, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and then 1970. And if I look at the population, I know Chicago is one of the most. The peak that it reaches looks like it was in 3,620,000, so just shy of 4 million. Um, if I check out the other populations, I said I would do Philadelphia. The Philadelphia peaked at about 2 million, it looks like. Um, I also said I would graph Los Angeles and Detroit. So if I look at Los Angeles, looks like that peaked at about three and a half million. Uh, Detroit 
all, all under two million. So if I go up to about three and a half million, um, I'll be good. So on my graph, I'll start on the sign my population from zero to about three point five million. And then I could go by intervals of maybe half a million. So if I go half a million here, half a million here, to one million, to one and a half million, to two million, to two and a half million, to three million, that's about right. So I'll do, here's 0.5, here's one million, here's 1.5 million, and right here would be 2 million. Here's 2.5. And right about here is 3 million. And now I just start graphing. So, starting with Chicago, in the year 1850, it looks like there was about 30,000. So that's not very much. That's right about the bottom. So, right here's my first dot for Chicago. And I'll go on to the next decade, 1860. Looks like it's about 112,000, still less than half a million. So that's still pretty low down here. And 1870 goes to about 298,000. So I'm getting about a little over halfway to half a million. And 1870 here. For 1880. 1880 is when I'm at half a million now. So I'll go up to 1880, go up to 0.5 million, and there's my dot. 1890, I'm now at over 1 million. So I will go to 1890, go up to 1 million, and there's my dot right there. Uh, let's see, 1900, I'm over one and a half million. So I'll go 1900, over one and a half million. My dot is right there. Then I go to 1910, I'm over two million. So 1910, all the way to over two million. You can see it, it's aligned with 2 million, a little bit up from that, so right about there. And I just keep on going through all of the dates. Now, Chicago, I said I would use a straight line to connect all the lines. So I'm just going to connect all of these lines to show how the population increased over time in the city of Chicago. And then I would do the same thing for these other cities, but use different patterns as I'm drawing the lines. And this is how to graph population data.